Okay. Hi, I'm Matt Conlon. This is my YouTube channel. Uh, it is not intended to be exclusively a Dragon Ball channel, but that's all the content I'm going to have up there for the near future, just until I can finish up with this idea for a Broly and Chi-Li spinoff as defined by Moscow X. Uh, I tweeted a video out to them, like the second YouTube video I posted ever. Uh, format was terrible. Didn't realize my camera was a portrait instead of landscape. Uh, this time I've got some idea of how to use the editing on my phone. Everything's done on my phone because I'm a teacher and therefore don't have a lot of funds. If you would like to support me by <laughs> watching these YouTube videos so that I can earn a little bit of extra scratch, so I can get some better equipment, like a Wacom tablet, so instead of doing all of this stuff freehand in a sketchbook, I could do it online, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, today we're gonna talk about the third villain. I haven't finished with the second villain. Uh, our first villain was Zolgorgon, the Tartar, guy with a bull's head and a centaur body, but on a bull's body. Uh, he is the Piccolo-esque character. Uh, he won't be relevant in a fighting capacity except to maybe periodically sacrifice himself for Lemo or chi -Li. Um So that was our first villain. The second villain will be a plant-based type. I'm thinking the name Gerania. I'm thinking it's a female, but it won't really look, you know, she'll be like a plant monster. Uh, I've got some concept art gonna use this new format where I use time-lapse videos while I do the inks and the coloring. Uh, and then from there we move on to the third villain. Uh, the third villain is a tech-based guy. He's a member of Gregory's race, if anybody remembers him, <laughs> from the planet of King Kai. So is this little grasshopper guy. He's super fast like Gregory was, but he has... Uh, hyper acute energy sensing so that's his big thing so he uses a combination of planting traps in an area and then using sniping to sort of goad his target into an area where there's a bunch of traps uh, he'll hold chi -Li and lemo hostage long range since there's nowhere you can escape his sniping um, or maybe he'll kidnap them or something strap bombs onto him but he shows up on the planet when Zolgorgon finds out that he's been hired. Uh, that's, he makes note that it's a pretty big deal because that guy doesn't take prisoners. He is an irredeemably evil murderer. Uh, none of this hit nonsense where the <laughs> hired killer is just sort of, you know, a buddy now. <laughs> no, this guy's a hired killer and merciless. And I'm not exactly sure how Broly will resolve the conflict, but the whole point is that his uh, just endlessly powering up and powering up is going to be unsuitable for protecting his friends. Like, he could absolutely just win the fight by blowing up half the continent and wasting the guy. But the whole idea is he has friends now. He wants to keep those friends safe. And so that's it. So from here, I'm going to put up some time-lapse videos in order of events. There's only like, I think, three or four of them. And uh, <clears throat> just sort of segues into how the fight goes. Uh, and then from there, uh, once this guy is defeated, I think we'll call him Matthew. Yeah, that's my name. No, he's not an insert character because I'm not a murderer. Uh, from there... I'll try and uh, reintroduce another movie villain who I know nothing about. I've never seen the movie, but I've seen a ton of clips of him, and he just has one of the coolest designs and move sets that I've seen in Dragon Ball. I just, I, I love the aesthetic, and I had an idea back when we were theorizing about who the villain was going to be in Dragon Ball Super Broly before we knew it was a Broly movie. Uh, I'm going to use an idea for that to detail sort of what his motivations are and something that immediately telegraphs that he is a uh, kind of a, a super big boss type character. Uh, and then he'll come in 
and interfere with the events of the crime syndicate, and then maybe that will lead to a sort of general resolution where Boss Chisadai decides that uh, messing with Broly or trying to claim Vampa is not worth the trouble, no matter what he thinks is down there. Uh, so yeah, so th thanks very much for watching. I may show back up at the end, and I hope you enjoy this video. All right, we can see I have once again failed to properly landscape my camera, forgive me. These first two sections are only about 40 seconds long, and then it switches to landscape. Uh, this is Matthew. He is a murderer for hire sent by Boss Chisadai to take on Broly. Uh, when he shows up, he has a flying van, transports him through space. Uh, it's filled with weapons. It might be disguised as a plumber's truck or something, I'm not sure. Uh, you can see that his weapons are rifles and bombs, telegraphing that he uses a combination of traps and sniping. Uh, he's got his water bottle here. Probably says something like, Oh, look at this dump. Uh, as you can see, he has these sort of... Uh, yay, we're back to landscape. Uh, as you can see, he has these sort of blue markings. I think those are from a prison gang or maybe a military unit that he used to be part of. Uh, not exactly sure. Uh, from here, we see how some of his fight goes. He's blowing something up. It disturbs one of the wolf rabbit things. Uh, you can see that shadow in the bottom right-hand corner foreshadowing how he meets his ultimate end. I think he gets distracted by Lemo and Chilai learning how to power up from Zolgorgon while Broly learns how to suppress his energy, and that creates enough of a distraction that he ends up falling victim to one of these giant spiders. Uh, from there, another figure awakens and that is uh, another movie villain who I know virtually nothing about but whose design I absolutely love and here you can see he is wearing an Ozaru pelt as a cape uh, as soon as the coloring starts I imagine you'll be able to figure out who it is like I said he just looks super cool has one of the coolest move sets um, and if he's wearing a green Ozaru pelt, that should communicate that he's kind of a big bad. Uh, the idea here is that he hunted the previous legendary Super Saiyan, and I'm thinking maybe he consumes their energies to restore his youth or something. Uh, like I said, I don't know anything about his original incarnation in the movies, but this is just uh, a repurposing of that design. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much. So once again, big thanks to Masako X for inspiring this. Uh, as a creative type, I'm always looking for fun projects to just sort of dedicate what talent I have to. Uh... I have a whole bunch of stuff up on dmsguild.com. You can find me under my name, Matthew Conlon, M-A-T-T-H-E-W-C-O-N-L-O-N. You can find that probably in the description. Uh, and I'll try and put a link in there too. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much to Mosco X. Uh, I hope to get some of my Dungeons & Dragons stuff up in these videos soon. Uh, and some of my other creative works. I'm Currently doing some concept art for a friend of mine who has a sort of uh, updated Narnia-esque idea, but I will save that until he tells me it's okay to share more about it later. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Have a great day and stay safe.